Hey, my awesome viewers, Legends here back at it again with another video. Another drift tutorial on a pretty controversial car. If you ask some players either the GT or a 32 is a good drift car, they might say yes, and others might say no, and the reason behind this is all about the tuning. The stock COG for this car can be quite troublesome as it causes a lot of wobble and snap over steer. If the gearbox and suspension is not done right, it can also lead to the car not having long enough drifting capabilities. So today, I will be giving you guys my smoothest setting for this car to date. And just for reference, I will show you guys some clips of how well it drifts when this setup is done correctly. As per usual, the first thing we will do is buy the upgrades and other parts. The car is currently completely stock, so that I can guide you guys through the entire process. Buy the most powerful engine available to you, so if you don't have the W16, you can buy the V12 engine instead. Then make sure to buy the other parts, especially the touring tires, those are important for the smoothest drifting. After buying all these parts, we will need to burn the new tires to 0%. I will show you guys how to do this. So go to this wall in City 1 and make sure that your car is put in all-wheel drive and all safety systems are off. Then you want to put the car in second or third gear. Press on the gas and while pressing the gas, click the map. The car will now start to burn the tires automatically. This process usually takes 4 or 5 minutes. So I will speed up this section of the video. After the tires have been burned to 0%, we can now go back to create our drift tuning. Follow all my steps for the best results, this is where the magic happens.
You can also copy my camera settings if you like. Make sure the car is in all-wheel drive and your settings look like mine. Now put the car in gear 3 and hit the gas. Make sure to use your brakes during transitions to slide smoothly into corners. Let me know how well this setup works for you and which ones I should do in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.